Hello friends, let's try to understand how Hippify operation actually works. We also call the Hippify operation as a percolate up and the percolate down operations. Well, what is the percolate up operations? Well, the percolate up operation means a heap array which is right now satisfying the heap property. We add a new element at the last index of the array. And now after adding a new element at the last position, we must need to find the correct position of that last added element. So the process of finding out the correct position of that last added element is called the percolate up operations. Let's try to visualize through animation how percolate operation, percolate up operation actually works. So let's see this is an array and this array is mean heap array. Why I'm saying that as it satisfy the mean heap array property of root element is less than all its children. So you can see here in this case all the element which is a root it's less than all its children. Now we add a new element to add the last index of the array like that. So now we need to see whether after adding this new element array still satisfy the mean heap property. So we need to check its parent. Now the question is how we check the parent? Well, we have already have a formula that is i minus 1 by 2. It always gives the parent position of that particular newly added element. So the parent position of the 2 is 10 minus 1 by 2 index in that array. So that is 8. So is it 8 is less than 2? No, it's not. So we need to swap it. So we swap these two elements. After swapping that, we need to verify again is 2 got its right position. So again we need to verify its parent position whether its parent is less than or not. So its parent will be at 4 minus 1 by 2 index of that array that is 5. Is 5 is less than 2? No it's not. So we need to swap it again. So we swap it like that. Like that. After that we again need to find out whether 2 reach its right position, or, right position or not. So we need to find out its parent that is 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 0. So we check that okay 3 is actually greater than 2 so we need to swap it again. Now after this final swipe swap operations we can see that this array right now satisfying the mean heap property. So the process of like we take the last element that is 2 and find out its right position into the array is called a percolate up operation. So if you can see in this array all the elements are satisfying the mean heap property like for example let's say 5. The 5 index it at 4. So its left child will be 2 into 4 plus 1 that is 9 and the right child will be 2 into 4 plus 2 that is 10. So both its children are actually greater than this and the 5 is minimum of all its children. So that's how we do the percolate up operation. Similarly, let's try to understand how the percolate down operation works in heap. The percolate down operation is exact opposite to the percolate up operation. In this case, our array currently satisfy the heap property and we need to take out or extract the root element and the process of taking out the root element is called the percolate down operations. Let's see this in the form of binary tree. Remember, this is a binary tree is just for the explanation purpose. Heap actually represented as an array. So now in this tree, we need to take out the root element. So what we do? Yes, swapping. So we swap the root element with the last node of the tree and then we take out that element. After taking out that element, we need to see whether this tree right now satisfying the mean heap property. No. Why? Because 11 is greater than 5 and 9. So what we have to do? We have to find out which particular children is less. So we compare 5 with 9. So 5 is less. So we swap that with 5. Again, we have 11 here and its children are 6 and 8 and it is not satisfying the mean heap property. So again, we compare which of these two children is less. So 6 is less than 8. So we swap that again with 6. After that, we again check that. Is it satisfying the mean heap property? Yes, 11 is great, less than both of its children. Similarly, 6 is also satisfying the mean heap property and also 5. So this complete tree is satisfying the mean heap property. So this is called a percolate down, down operations. Now let's try to understand this in the form of array. 
so this this is our array and here it satisfy the main heap property right now now what we have to do we have to take out the root element that is root index array that is 3 so what we do yes we swap that with the last element and then take it out and print it now after that is this my array satisfying the main heap property no because 11 didn't get its right positions so what 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 we do generally in this case we have this formula 2i plus 1 and the 2i plus 2 the 2i plus 1 represent the left child and the 2i plus 2 represent the right child so for this particular element that is 11 we find out the left child and the right child which is at 2 into 0 plus 1 and 2 into 0 plus 2 why 0 because its index is 0 so we compare these two elements that is 5 and 9 and whichever is minimum we swap that with 11 now 5 got its right positions now we again check for 11 both of its children so that is 2 into 1 plus 1 and 2 into 1 plus 2 so we check these two elements so that is 3 and 4 so whichever is minimum we just swap it again so we do the same thing like now 11 is at index 3 so we again perform the same thing that is 2 into 3 plus 1 and 2 into 3 plus 2 that is its compare its left child and the compare its right child so right now if you see the left child is 12 and the right child is 18 and both of them is greater than 11 so it's satisfying the mean heap property so it means 11 got its right position so this is the process we called as percolate down operations